So we're in week two of the National Football League season and um, came across this little story that was published yesterday over at Breitbart.com and it has to do with the Washington Commanders, who used to be the Washington Redskins, and the Blackfeet Indian tribe, who, well, they want the Redskins back, basically. So here you have this article, family of Blackfeet chief who was model for Washington Redskins logo wants his image returned to the team. Now it was about, uh, it's about four years ago under pressure from liberal groups, liberal media. I can remember individuals such as Peter King from sports illustrated saying, I'm not saying that name anymore. They're going to be called the Washington football team from now on. He was taking a holier than thou stance that the Redskins is racist. And I will not say that word. And that's spread across sports media. Well, for a number of years, when it comes to Native America symbolism in sports, whether it be professional sports, whether it be in college, whether it be in high school, even go down to freaking junior high and grade school. A bunch of white liberals have decided that Indian names and symbols are offensive. Now, isn't that ironic? White liberals have found Indian names and symbols as racist. You would think if there was a problem, it would be from those Indian tribes, such as the Blackfeet, such as the Seminole Nation, that would be the ones complaining about their symbols and images and um, whatever you want to call it being used as I'm not going to say mascots because schools didn't treat these images as they didn't treat these, these um, they didn't treat the symbolism of Indians and native Americans as mascots. They were symbols. They celebrated native American heritage. So in this article here, it gets into that a little bit. The family of the Blackfeet Indian chief, who was the model for the Washington Redskins logo, wants his image returned to the team, a report says. The descendants of John Two Guns White Calf, not only hope, the now renamed Washington Commanders. Worst name in the NFL, by the way. Commanders. Worst name in the NFL. Or the NFL itself will return their proud ancestor to prominence but they also want his amazing story preserved and told to new generations of sports fans. Two Guns White Calf's profile was the image that the Redskins used for decades and served as the team, I'm not going to say mascot, it was a symbol from 1972 to 2020. The fans want him back and we want him back, said Thomas White Calf, a great nephew of the Indian Chief, according to Fox News. Our ancestor was the most famous and most photographed native in history said White Calf, who spoke to Fox News by phone. Two Guns was also the face on the Indian head nickel. I'm proud of him. The Black Feet are proud of him, he added. The Chief's visage, though, was eliminated in 2020 by left-wing activists who pestered the Redskins for nearly two decades to end the use of Native American imagery. See, it's a bunch of white folks that found it offensive. Despite that many polls showed that fans did not want the logos removed, even polls showed Native Americans were not bothered by the use of the images. Now, I'm going to share this little story. Actually, a couple little stories. Last weekend, my significant other and I went to the Tampa Bay Bucks-Washington Commanders game here in Tampa. 
as we were walking to the stadium from our car, we came up on a group of Washington Commanders fans. One of the said fans had a hard hat on painted burgundy and had the Redskins logo on each side of the hat of the helmet. And a woman who was part of his group was pointing at the helmet, telling people to boo him because he had the helmet on. And thankfully, nobody else booed him, but this woman took it upon herself because she found it offensive. Nobody else did. Just one person found it offensive that boo this guy, boo this guy. Look at his helmet, boo this guy. Now, this whole deal with Native American in imagery and symbols has been going on for quite a while. The NCA, I remember back in, uh, I want to say it was 2007 put out an edict that the use of native American symbols will no longer be allowed. And if you continue to do so, your university will not be allowed to host postseason events, whether it be football, basketball, baseball, you name it in the NCAA. So the university of Illinois, they had to get rid of the chief. And to this day, at the U of I during football and basketball during halftime when the three and one is played the entire crowd chants chief it's, it's time that teams stop kowtowing and bending the knee and acquiescing to the pressure that a bunch of white liberals deemed something is racist. The only exception to all this Native American Indian symbolism stuff has been Florida State University, which paid 100K to the Seminole tribe to be allowed to still use um, an Indian symbol for the university. So, a little food for thought. Thomas Whitecalf added that neither he nor his family were ever asked if they were upset by the team's use of Chief Two Guns image and story. Senator Steve Daines from Montana insisted that returning Chief Two Guns to the NFL is about righting a wrong. It's not just the returning Chief Two Guns to the NFL. Let's go back. Cleveland Guardians? No, they're the Cleveland Indians. Um, I can go through a lineage of NCA schools, member schools. Um, Miami University of Ohio, St. John's. Heck, even the University of Illinois. Bradley University. Um, it was North Dakota State, I believe. Just to name a few that have had to replace a symbol of the university with a mascot because it was deemed offensive by the NCAA. Steve Daines quoted, it's a point of pride and represents a rich Native American history that helped make our nation great and it should be enthusiastically celebrated across our culture. The investment group that currently owns the Washington Commanders led by billionaire Josh Harris claims it is working to accommodate the former mascot's family. The group said in a statement, we are collaborating with Senator Daines to honor the legacy of our team's heritage and the Native American community. At the center's suggestion, we have developed a positive relationship with Ryan Wetzel, the grandson of Walter Blackie Wetzel, who designed the logo. We look forward to honoring that legacy. This article goes into the 
uh, Life of Chief Two Guns. Um, he became an activist for preserving Native American culture, passed away in 1934. The Chief's family, though, feel not just canceled by woke liberals, but also ignored by the team. Despite that, Chief Whitecalf served as the model for the team's logo. The family has been ignored by the team both today and for many years. The team was still named the Redskins. They hope this will, that will change with this new effort for recognition. Now, keep in mind, it was last year. Um, I forget who it was. There was an association that was suing. They were suing the team to get them to change their name back to the Redskins. I hope someday they do change the name back to the Redskins because I want to see the, the butt cheeks pucker on all these media types that refuse to say that name. So what do you guys think about this? This is something I think that as we get back to some balance and some, some sense of normalcy and, and uh, basically logic and reason, um, I think we, we could possibly see some of these things reverse course where the Redskins do come back to the NFL. Maybe the Indians do come back to Major League Baseball. Um, maybe some of these universities go back to honoring tr the traditions they had for a number of years until they were forced by a bunch of leftists in the NCAA to get rid of their symbols and, and, and have to change their their university, their universities to having a bunch of mascots that have nothing to do with the history of the, of the university. So comment down below while you're at it, please take the time to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already hit that notification bell, so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.